Hello guys and or girls, um, in this video I will talk about YouTube, commentators, trolls, haters and the community as a whole. And what is being said in this video is my own personal experiences and thoughts, and you don't have to agree with me on every point in here. Um, but uh, yes, so I've been thinking about the whole thing for a long time and I just felt like I had to make a commentary about it after seeing this thing with JX23. And I'm pretty sure you're aware of what's going on there if you're following the YouTube gaming community and Machinima. And uh, if you're not familiar with this, uh, basically what happened was uh, JX23 was talking to this girl. I don't know if there were multiple girls, uh, not from what I've heard or seen. Uh, but anyways, he was talking to this girl on Skype. And she's 16, by the way, and they both live in England. And she's also making YouTube videos. But anyways, uh, so they were talking and one thing led to another. And he wanted to see boobs or something and she wanted to see his dick. So he sent her a picture of his wang and in return he would <laughs> get to see her boobs, uh, which she didn't, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but now she tweeted the picture out and it leaked out to the internet. And I do understand how fucking awkward that must be for JX, but I wouldn't go delete my YouTube account and Twitter, Facebook and whatever like he did. Um, anyways, you now know what I know, so let's move on. Uh, I, I know a lot of big commentators have been making videos about this and giving their opinion on the matter. Uh, but I just felt like I wanted to go a little bit deeper with this subject and not just talk about the JX incident. Um, so to start off here, uh, my opinion on the whole incident is that it's just pure bullshit. Uh, people hating on, him, hating on him, calling him a pedophile and treating him like trash is just pathetic and ignorant. And you know, the girl was clearly leading him on and from what the screen dump shows us, the sexual interest was mutual, so if she didn't want the pick of his wang, she could have declined the fucking file and blocked him if he was such a creep. And uh, I'd agree if he like hacked her computer and forced her to accept the picture or whatever, but that's not the case here. 16 in England is legal, so drop it. Um, it's not like JX is a 45 year old man with kids. He's a, he's a young guy in his mid-twenties I think. And what is weird is that someone actually wrote to Machinima about this, trying to get JX off as a director. Uh, and, I, and I don't know how Machinima handled or handles this, uh, but if they, d if they were to do something about it, my respect would go down a lot for them. Um, I mean, the Skype conversation was private, and it's not for anyone but the two parts involved. And I mean, guys, come on. When did this become a scene for paparazzi and gossip? We're all here to have fun, and private matters are supposed to be kept in private. So the next thing I want to talk about is the whole thing with G Unit One Two Three. And once once again, if you're following the whole commentator scene slash machinima, you should know about him. Uh, he's obviously a respawn director, and a while back he uploaded a fake nuke on respawn. And the title of the video was like uh, the world's fastest nuke or something similar. And uh, people started quest questioning the legitimacy of the video. And G Unit stood by his word and said that it was legit. And he then later made a dual commentary with Hutch where he explained that the video was fake. And now from that point on, on every video he's been posting on Respawn, um, it gets more dislikes than likes. And people writing things like fake and gay on all of his videos. And people are asking Machinima to fire him as a director and shit. Which thank god they don't because he makes entertaining videos and he spent a lot of time on his YouTube channel. And what I don't understand is why people continue to hate on his videos as if he's some sort of god who just told you he made himself up. And that there is no god and I don't exist and the fundamentalists of religion started bashing and hating. And I think people tend to forget that this whole community is about video games. Games which are supposed to be played for fun. And I think it's easy to forget that these guys on YouTube that have made it big are just normal people like you and I. And the kids think that in order to post shit on the internet it has to be amazing. And if it's not, the uploader don't deserve what he gets. And now I'm talking from my own, from my own experience. Because before I got a PBR myself, I used to play a lot of Modern Warfare 2. I was really good at it. And I felt like it was really unfair that someone who's worse than me got more recognition than I did. But I have evolved as a human since then, and I have realized that it's not all about the, an awesome kill death ratio anymore. Uh, videos can have an, a meaning, and nowadays I mainly watch a, watch a video for the commentary, not the gameplay itself. And with all this said, you can somewhat see why these kids would get angry if a machinima director makes a bullshit video. Uh, but anyway, uh, you keep forgetting the main point here. The video was made to entertain you. It doesn't matter if it's legit or not. For Christ's sake, people asking Machinima to fire him. It's it's been a year now, and as far as I know, Machinima have no golden rule that say no fake videos are allowed here. Uh, but anyway, I think he's a couple of thousand subscribers over 100k, which he deserves for all of his hard work put into his channel. And as far as I know, he made it he made it this far by himself. Um, 
unlike many other commentators who's been shout outed and presented in a dual commentary. Um, and with all of this said, I'm glad that Machinima didn't sink to the kid's level of tolerance here and took action against these two. Uh, JX23 removed all proof of his existence and GUnit123 apologized, so it's time to move on. And no one is forcing you to watch anything here on YouTube, you should always remember that. And guys, last but not least, uh, another big thing that is going on in the world is this thing with Justin Bieber. And I got reminded of this uh, this morning when I heard my 10 year old brother speaking to my 11 year old sister. Uh, my sister had put on one of his songs and I heard my brother saying that Justin Bieber don't like girls with full conviction. And for crying out loud guys, what is going on here? Justin Bieber is gay, he's a girl, his music suck, he sucks at making music and whatever. And I have even seen a video where a kid around the age of 13 sat in front of his webcam with a knife and said that he was going to kill Justin Bieber with it. And that he's such a fag and blah blah. And the guy was serious and I know a lot of other kids that feels the same way. Which is really frightening. And once again, I think we all need to realize that he's just a normal guy like any of us, with just a little bit more of luck and perhaps talent. Because come on guys, listen to his voice, it's not bad for the type of music that he makes. I do understand that not everyone likes the type of music, uh, but you know, just like I don't like to listen to death metal where you can barely hear what they say and most of the time it's about something like smashing someone's face with a hammer. It's just music and he's not even the one who decides what to sing or how. It's just an instrument being played, so hating on him personally is just extremely ignorant and stupid. And you know, you can be how, how jealous of him you like, but the fact is that if you were offered the same opportunity, would you take it or would you just let it slide? And uh, I'm sorry for that horrible, horrible Eminem reference. Uh, I just wanted to put that in there. Uh, but anyways, uh, these things are just a few in a pool of many similar, so please, let's stop this madness here. And hopefully after watching this video, you've gotten your eyes opened and perhaps with a pair of no more troll goggles on them. And thank you for listening guys, and I will see you later.